what are the biggest challenges that firms are actually coming up against? You know, when they're coming to you and they're talking to you, yeah. Um, is it what's the challenge around mental? What's there some of the biggest challenges they actually have around mental health? The, the, the number one biggest challenge, like in every organisation I work with, from that kind of entry interview, entry meeting kind of situation, is change. Change consistently the biggest anxiety trigger. But it's the same reason why we're, the term mental health is, is is negative as well, because we're hardwired to look for danger and fear so therefore change we feel will be negative and you can i do this in any environment i go to speak to a I was, uh, tesco head office a couple of weeks ago okay show of hands if i said that your boss is going to cause you call you into the office straight after this do you think great a pay rise of course you don't you think oh i'm out of here i've been set we, we so we think change is negative all the time when actually it may be but it may not be so it's it's kind of changing our relationship with change, accepting that change is inevitable, and then building tools. I know resilience is massively overused as a term now, but building those kind of tools around resilience to be able to bounce back as soon as you can when this stuff does hit you. Um, and one of the lines I, I like to go down is that I think very often what creates the most anxiety is not just the the trying to control the uncontrollable. So. It's about reclaiming choice. But it's the first thing we give away when we struggle with life is choice. But it's about reclaiming choice, mm. accepting that stuff may happen, but also is stop the pursuit of happiness. Mm -hmm. and bear with me on this. Let, let me just, let me justify this. For me, a lot of my anxiety comes from the pursuit of happiness, where actually I now go for the pursuit of neutrality. Because happiness to me is peace of mind. Also, mm -hmm. in any given context, if I go in with a neutral mindset, I work hard to make sure it's successful. But I also don't beat myself up too much if I think it's going to go wrong. Mm. So whether that's speaking on stage at stadiums or conference halls or whether it's in my personal life, that I think it's a pursuit of happiness that can often cause the most anxiety because we feel that we our natural state should be happy. And it's not. Our, our, our natural state should be neutral. Mm -hmm. And then that means we enjoy the happiness and, and we, we we struggle a little bit through the sad times. So, yeah, I think strive for neutrality, I think, is massively underrated.